Hi friends, Radhika Ravikumaya. So in this tutorial, we'll see what is uh, optimizer in uh, Oracle. So after seeing the what exactly optimizer means, we'll also see some of the optimizer ins that are available in LaRNG. So first of all, optimizer can be uh, mentioned as a Oracle software or as a piece of uh, Oracle software which is uh, mainly used uh, in order to fetch the best execution path an SQL statement should take. So, for example, in reality, uh, whenever we people want to you know, hang out with friends or whenever we want to read some destination, we always have uh, some different uh, path in our minds like how to reach to that destination. So finally, what we do is we before stepping out of the house, uh, whether we are going by bike or car or whatever, we always uh, finally make a decision this is the path we need to take so that we will reach the destination as soon as possible in the safer way right. So in the same way uh, coming to the oracle architecture this optimizer will um, help help the you know uh, help so in such a way that uh, whenever an SQL statement is uh, uh, sorry whenever the uh, uh, SQL statement is um, executed so that it will uh, you know complete the SQL, uh, SQL uh, execution in such a way that the result is fetched in a faster way. So that is why we use this optimizer. So the we can even say that the optimizer is nothing but a piece of oracle uh, software which will uh, help us to decide uh, uh, in order to get the execution path of the SQL statement. Okay. So finally, uh, it even uh, evaluates the it even the optimizer also will have an alternative uh, path many alternative paths but finally the optimizer itself will decide which is the best path to take for uh, the execution of the query okay hope you guys have understood um, now let us see the steps uh, that are involved in processing an sql statement okay so processing the sql statements normal uh, like uh, like the select statement and all what are the steps that are involved in this SQL statement is first always um, for example when we are doing the select uh, statement it will first parse it ok it's p a r s e parse it so during the parsing phase what happens is it will first check the syntax sy syntax so the syntax check will be done then it will be doing the object uh, existence check then it will uh, even check for uh, the columns whether it is available or not then finally it will do the execution execution plan okay these are the things that will happen when it is in the parsing phase so whenever th that is why whenever we are uh, you know writing some query we are typing some query and when we are executing it we get that the column is not uh, valid or else the variable that is or the name something you know the syntax that we are using is not proper such kind of errors right that is because uh, it will detect everything in this parsing phase itself so that is what happens in the parsing phase and then once all these parsing phase get succeeded it will move on to the execution phase execute execute okay so in this execute what happens is it uh, executes the plan we can see that the execution plan was already prepared in this parsing phase only but it will execute the plan only in the execute phase okay these are the phases that are available fine so in the execute uh, phase it will execute the plan execution plan and also it will prepare the output fine these two are the things that will happen in the execution phase so after these two are succeeded it will go to the fetch so fetch is nothing but as we know it will fetch the data so these are the three phases that are available that will happen uh, whenever we are processing an SQL statement mainly like select statement coming to the DML DML statement like um, insertion update and all this fetch phase will not be there in uh, DML phases the 
f h will not be there, because we know that uh, in the DML uh, whenever we are executing some DML queries fetch phase will not happen because it does not it it's not required that it needs to give some output right only the select statement which will you know do the parsing execute and also it will it should fetch some data and it, you know, give it to the uh, give it to the output so that's why in the processing of the sql statement that is mainly processing of the dml statement fetch phase will not be available so these are the things uh, that are available while processing an sql statement so, hope you people have understood what is optimizer and also the whenever an SQL statement is being processed, uh, what and all phase it will undergo, uh, even that has been uh, I guess basically uh, you have a basic understanding after seeing this. So, now um, coming to the types of uh, uh, what I can say the types of optimizers that are available, the types of optimizers uh, are one is the CBO and RBO, or else I can say it in this way RBO and CBO because RBO is nothing but a rule based optimizer. This is also uh, we can, as it is name is a rule based optimizer, it is already ruled out. We are not using this optimizer anymore. Rule based optimizer. So, the second one is. Uh, cost based optimizer this is the best optimizer ever and still we are using this this is the basic optimizer it is an uh, default one in previous previous version uh, rule based was the uh, basic optimizer we used to if we want to change that to cbo then we had to do some updation so that the we can convert the optimizer to the cost based optimizer so in the next tutorial we'll see what is the difference between this rbo and cbo and uh, why this RBO was completely ruled out in uh, today's versions and uh, the advantages of CBO also will see. So, hope you guys are enjoying my enjoying the tutorial. If there are any queries then uh, keep mailing me, I will try to reply as soon as possible. If not, I am really very sorry. Um, thank you very much for watching.